Hi, Homer Nottingham here. Thanks very much for watching my YouTube channel today. We always appreciate it. We're going to be talking about breathing today. We do it 25,000 times, anywhere from 20 to 30,000 times a day, and yet we ignore breathing. So now we're going to put breathing to work for us. It's going to give us the mental stability that we're always looking for. So let's talk a little bit about breathing and how, how we breathe. One of the first things we want to do is, is to learn to regulate the breath. If you can learn to regulate the breath, you're going to really make a huge change in your life for peace and calm. Get some of that stress and tension, some of those sore spots that's in your body, that stress and tension that's building up in the body. We're going to be able to eliminate it because movement is medicine. When the breath moves through the body, we get medicine. And where the mind goes, remember, where the mind goes, the chi flows. You saw your fingers grow longer just by thinking about it. That moves right through your body as you breathe. So we're going to do some breathing exercises. Now, these are basic exercises. You're going to need to practice them a lot. It's going to be hard, not physically, but mentally, just to keep up your practice on these types of breathing. So let's start out with uh, regulating the breath. Regulating the breath is the most important training you can probably do in your life. So when we talk about regulating the breath, we're going to talk about deep breaths. Now, deep breath doesn't mean maximum breath, but a comfortable deep breath. Then we're going to talk about long breaths. Again, comfortable long breaths, not extreme long breaths, but comfortable long breaths. There are other exercises we'll learn later in the program that'll be longer breaths, but these are just comfortable breaths. And then we're going to come into making that breath uniform. And the way we make it uniform is we have three S's behind it. That's slow, soft, and slender. So that'll make our breath very uniform. That's five of the, or that's six of the uh, eight keys. There's eight of these keys that you need to remember. Deep and longs two, uniform, and then slow, soft, and slender behind uniform. That's the first five. And then we come into calm and continuous breathing. So I want to get in that calm and continuous breathing. Now, the way you remember that, I use duck. You know, that life is always throwing things at me, uh, situations and all, all kinds of things happening in my life that's disrupting me mentally and physically and, and spiritually. So I just duck when they're thrown at me, get out of the way, come right back up. So if you can remember duck, you can remember them. So the first two, is deep for duck and duck is deep and long so we make deep and long breaths and then that we want to unify the breath so by unifying the breath we have a slow soft and slender breath and that's going to bring us into calm and continuous breath we continue to breathe that way so let's practice that just a little bit while we're just right here right now let's take a couple of deep long breaths Comfortable breaths. Now let's make them uniform. Let's slow the breath down. And as you slow the breath down, feel how your body begins, the systems in your body begin to slow down, start to soften the mind just a bit. Slower and softer, soft and slow. Now the systems are calming right down. After we do the soft and slow, we come into a slender breath. Just to, that'll bring us into even a deeper and slower and calmer breath. This slender breath, like a thread breathing from the nose right down to the bottom of the stomach. We just follow that thread right down to the bottom of our, our stomach or into our bottom of our lungs. And that's the C, calm and continuous. And the K, is for the keys. So those are the eight keys for, for breathing. So each time we do a breathing exercise, we're going to use those eight keys and learn to regulate our breath. You can regulate your breath almost instantly with those eight keys. It's going to bring calmness and, and continuous uh, breathing, uh, very soft and gentle and clear the mind some. So first breath we're going to learn today, we're going to be work practicing today, would be chest breathing. That's very normal. So I want you to put your hand on your chest here. Now I want you to breathe in a long, pull your stomach in, pull the chest out and breathe deep. Now we've regulated the breath, we're starting to breathe deep and long. Now when you let the stomach, the chest doesn't go down, 
your stomach comes out down here. Put your hand on your stomach. Do not let the chest move very much. The chest is very firm and breathe out. Let the stomach come out. Now let the stomach come in. Let it go out. So you see the chest is not moving much, but down around this area, the internal organs are starting to move. When you breathe in, you pull the stomach in and you release it out. An easy way to do that is remember the buttock is opening and closing at the same time. So when you breathe in, you pull the stomach in, pull the buttock up and then release it. Take a couple of long deep breaths that way. Couple more. Pull the buttock up, release the buttock. Pull the stomach in, release the stomach out. One more. Everything comes in and everything goes out. So that's chest breathing. I want you to practice chest breathing until you're very, very comfortable with it. Once you're comfortable with it, it'll be very easy to do. It's going to, it, when you regulate the breath, so we can come, do those deep, long breaths, and we come into uniform, slow, soft, slender, and we come into calm and continuous breathing. Those are the keys. Done, D-U-C-K. Now the next one we're going to work on today is abdominal breathing. Abdominal breathing will bring you more peace and calm, especially at night when you wake up in the middle of the night and you want to go back to sleep. This is the type of breathing you want to learn to do is abdominal breathing. Now, why don't you put your hands on your stomach, one hand on your chest. Now when we breathe in here, we're going to get very relaxed again. We use uh, the deep, long breaths and we get it uniform, slow, soft, continuous and slender and calm. Now this time when we breathe in, the stomach is going to come out. Put your hand on your stomach. Now breathe in. Chest is not moving. Push the stomach out like a balloon and then release it. Again, breathe in and release. One more time. I want you to put your hands on your sides right here now. When you breathe in, see if the sides push out. Stomach pushes out, chest is not moving, stomach's out like a balloon, and then release it. Now put them on the kidneys. Take the back of your hands, put them on your kidneys. Put them right behind your back on the kidneys. Now you got your hands on the back on the kidneys. Inhale, see if the kidneys push out and release. Inhale, release. What a beautiful day here in Santa Barbara. Inhale, release. Inhale, release. So now we got all the internal organs working down. So abdominal breathing is very good for working the inside of the body, getting those internal, uh, those internal organs all stretched out. And more importantly, we're stretching the fascia out around them also. The fascia is a collagen membrane that covers everything in your body. So it's covering those internal organs, it's gonna get them working a little better, get them moving a little softer. It's gonna take a long time to stretch that fascia out. It's been a long time since, since it's uh, been been worked very much. So abdominal breathing is just that. Now again, we want to pay attention to the buttocks. So as we inhale and then release. Now the buttocks coming together and release. So it opens and closes. So with that, you're working all the internal organs and you're really coming into a very deep breath and working the whole body. Use internal organs move, movement's medicine. They're getting the best medicine they can get. So that's the two, two types of breath. Those are the most common. And that's the abdominal breath we're gonna be using most of the time when we do breathing exercises. It'll be abdominal breathing. Although every once in a while, we will use the chest breathing. But both of them will bring you into a state of calmness continuous breathing, it's relaxation, the body, mind, spirit will start to come together. Now the third type of breathing that we're gonna to learn today has to do with the meridians. Meridians are channels that carry energy through the body and there's 20 of them. Now, 12 of them, six to each hand, there's one in the center of the hand and then one out to each of the fingers and then the toes and then right in the center of the foot is another one. So that's 12 of them, then we have, those are like rivers that run up and down the body carrying energy, 
chi, life's vital force, back and forth, up and down the body. So it's going right out to the toes, a lot of pressure points on the toes, so it's pressure point uh, reflexology and, re and pressure point therapy that's really stretching the body and getting the body full of chi, life's vital force. At Stanford, they call it the etheric field. It's guardian chi that surrounds the body. It's not only in the body, but it surrounds the body at about 10 feet. Now, they measure this energy around the body sometimes and uh, to see what kind of resistance you have to diseases and allergies. So it's a very strong energy. We simply call it guardian chi. It guards the body, it surrounds the body. It's called the circle of infinity, the yin yang symbol. So we wanna bring the body into balance, yin yang balance is what we're doing now. We're bringing it into the center. So those are 12 of them. Then we have eight extraordinary meridians. Six of them will run around the body here, along this way, coming up through the body. Six of them. Now those will run through pools of blood. Blood is the mother of chi, energy, life's vital force. But chi is the commander of the blood. If it gets stuck in here, you get a sore spot in your body, you've got some stuck chi can't flow, the blood doesn't flow, and the blood has all of the nutrients in it, all the good things in it that we need to get through the body. So we're going to clear these channels, we're gonna fill these rivers up with chi by, just by breathing. When they're full, they'll fill up the lakes. Like the, the liver here is the largest lake in your body, it's full of blood, and the river's running up and down, keeps it full. So we wanna keep them full all the time. Now there's two very extraordinary meridians in your body. One will come up your back, and come down the front. So that those two we really want to keep full. So this breathing that we're going to do now is called a small universal orbit. Right at the coccyx, there's a little hole down in the bottom of the coccyx. So we just place our mind there. We inhale, it brings it right up to the top of the head here. It fills up the top of the head, stops right here at the nose. And then from the nose, there's another meridian that'll come down from the lip right below. It stops right here and another one here. So when we're doing the exercises, you want to keep the tongue on top of, the, of the, the roof of the mouth and that keeps the energy flowing and makes that little spot right there connect. So we get the energy flowing and it'll come down and go back to the coccyx back around, small universal orbit. That's going to, we want to keep those two channels full. The one in the back controls all your nerve system, 80% of your nerves are back there. And the one down the front goes right through the heart and through this area down the front of the body. So when we inhale, we inhale, abdominal breathing now. You inhale, visualization, imagination. It's called shin. We're gonna be learning shin breathing, so we're gonna to learn to shin breathe. So we're gonna bring the energy up the back and down the front, connecting at the coccyx. Filling the top of the head with energy, stopping right at the nose, starting right here and coming down. So a couple of deep breaths. Breathe in, pull the butt again, and then release. Long, deep breaths. Abdominal breathing. Up the back, down the front. Now slow the breath down. Soften the breath. Fill those vessels up with energy. Slender breath. Come into a state of calmness and continue to breathe that way. So that's abdominal breathing. We're doing the abdominal breathing and it gets softer and softer so you can barely feel the stomach moving, barely feel the inside of the body moving. It's very slow and gentle. And that's going to fill those vessels full of energy. Chi, life's vital force, is going to help us with all of the whole works of the body. So that's the third type of breathing. Now the fourth type, we're going to do shin breathing. We're going to learn to use our minds. Our minds are very powerful. Remember where the mind goes, the chi flows. Remember that finger grew a little bit longer on one hand over the other? So that's shin breathing. We move energy with our minds to the ends of the finger, grew a little longer. So now we're gonna move that energy from the heart. That's fire energy, so yang energy. We wanna bring it into yin yang balance. We're gonna move it from the heart right down to the, oh, right in the, ball of the foot is a bubbling well spot. So we're gonna pu push it out right out through that spot down there. And then we're gonna bring it from the kidneys, that's the water, that's the fire element going down, getting the heart energy out of the body. We're gonna bring soft energy into the body from the kidneys when we breathe in. We're gonna come right up to the brain again, 
right up to the center point of the head, the crown point, both kidneys. We got it threads. So a thread will come right up and then a thread will go right down to our feet as we exhale. We're gonna inhale soft energy, exhale hard energy. We're gonna inhale water energy from the kidneys and fire energy from the heart, get the body calmed down. So some, hand, again, hand on the stomach. Now this time we're gonna use our visualization. Imagine, it. visualize as we breathe in. It comes from the kidneys. Feel it come right to the crown point of the head and then comes from the heart right out through the feet. So let's regulate the breath. Deep, long breaths. Kidneys to the crown point of the head. The heart to the bottom of the feet. So when we inhale, pull the buttock up, kidneys are getting tight, energy is coming to the crown point, and then release it from the heart right down into the earth. Take a couple of long deep breaths that way. Stomach's coming out and release. And while you're practicing, you may want to overemphasize, do it a little harder, a little longer, a little deeper than you normally would. But as we get really used to it, get very good at it, it'll become calm and continuous. So a couple more times. So stomach's coming out, buttocks lifting up, energy's coming, and then right out through the bottom of my feet. One last time from the kidneys. So that's shin breathing. We've learned to move energy with our mind, power of the mind. So we can move energy out of the body and rebalance the body. It's all about bringing the body under control and then bringing it into balance, everything in your life in balance. So that uh, the last type of breathing we're gonna to learn today would be thread breathing. And uh, on thread breathing, uh, we're gonna move the energy right along a thread, just just a, a thread through the body. And we can move it anywhere we want, anywhere in the body that we want. It really makes no difference. If I have a sore knee, I might want to run that thread from my nose right down to my knee. I want to get the mind to go to that knee to get that, that soreness out of my knee. So it's thread breathing. I'm going to bring energy to that. Remember how the fingers grew just a bit. Same way the energy is going to go into the knee. So let's regulate the breath, deep, long breaths. Yes, we're going to bring it to the knee. Now our visualization is coming right down to the knee on the, on the out breath. So inhale up to the crown point of the head. And then exhale. So visualization, imagination, shin is way beyond that. It's body, mind, spirit. We can feel it in our body, mind, spirit going right into our knee. One more, one more long deep breath, abdominal breathing. So that would just be simply shin, shin breathing. Remember, Qigong is simple. Keep it simple, keep it working, get everything working. Now the, the last one we want to want to learn is shin breathing. And that's where we're gonna breathe right into the third eye and we're gonna feel it. We're gonna use our visualization, our imagination, our body, mind, spirit to breathe right through the third eye. So a long, deep breath, abdominal breathing. Feel the third eye and then release it as if you're breathing through the third eye, right between the, uh, the eyebrows. A couple of breaths. Long, deep breaths right through the third eye. Slow, soft, slender breaths, uniform breaths. Breathe that way calm and continuous. So those are the types of breathing we're going to be practicing in the first part. Maybe later on we'll get into some where there's probably 31 ways that, uh, that I recognize uh, for breathing. So there's a lot of ways to breathe. Right now we're just gonna learn these few and get very good and very comfortable with them. You do that, it's gonna change your life. You do it 25,000 times a day on the average. Why not pay some attention to it? You don't have to do it all the time or continuously, but when you have something going on in your life that's causing you some problems, just try it and it'll calm you right down. 
and your body, mind, spirit will come back together. So again, thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Today we're in beautiful Santa Barbara. Next time we don't know where we'll be. Thank you very much and see you next time.